Hello, Troop 516. This is Mr. Duncan, the fourth best not tire in the troop. And I decided I was going to make one more video on one more lashing that I discovered in my son Gabriel's 2012 edition of the Scout Manual. It's called the Round Lashing. Once I noticed that, it reminded me of a TV show I used to watch quite a bit. It's called Survivor. Have you ever watched the, uh, the TV show Survivor? In the, in the TV show Survivor, every episode involves two challenges. One of them is an immunity challenge, and another one is a reward challenge. I don't watch this show too much anymore, but I remember back in the days when I used to watch it, there was often a uh, reward challenge or an immunity challenge that involved tying multiple sticks together in such a way as to reach out over a long distance to retrieve a key that would then unlock a box behind the contestants and that would either re re uh, reveal a reward or uh, some sort of immunity for the team. Uh, I noticed that over time most of the teams had no idea how to tie those sticks together to retrieve that key but the round lashing that's in my son's uh, scout manual, is what you need to know. So I thought I would demonstrate that for you today. And guess what? It begins and ends with a clove hitch. Remember, that was the first knot I showed you how to tie. So let's do the, uh, the round hitch, or the round lash. Here I've got two sticks, and I'm gonna tie them together and make one long stick using two round lashings. It takes two pieces of string. The first thing I'm gonna do, you guessed it, I'm gonna tie a clove hitch. I'm gonna droop, I'm gonna droop my rope over both of my sticks, run it underneath. I'm gonna run it around my thumb. Run it over top, run it underneath, back through the loop, and I'm going to tie a clove hitch. And I'm going to tie it pretty snug. See that? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this running end around both sticks multiple times. Four or five times. I'm going to keep it tight. That's four times. Let's go around one more time. All right. That's five times around. Now I'm going to tie a clove hitch, but this is going to be somewhat of a backwards clove hitch. Watch what I do. I'm going to run it underneath, and I'm going to run it through this loop. You see what I did there? I'm going to snug that down real tight. And I'm going to do it again. I'm going to run it underneath. And I'm going to run this running in back through that loop one more time. And now I'm going to snug it down really tight. Can you see the X there? Can you see the X there? I started with a clove hitch and I ended with a clove hitch. And I go a bunch of wraps around both of my sticks. It's called the round lashing. Now watch what happens. These two sticks are kind of floppy, aren't they? These two sticks are kind of floppy. I'm going to tie another round hitch, uh, another round lashing right there, and these sticks won't be floppy at all. Now, 
as as with most of my lashings if i was going to keep this neat i'd clip it there and fuse the ends and maybe clip it here and fuse the ends but i'd like to reuse my rope for another project another day so i'm not going to clip it but i do have another rope and so i'm going to tie another round lashing and i'm going to begin by drooping the running end over my two sticks run it around Run it around my thumb, droop it over again, run it back underneath through the hole, and that is a clove hitch. Clove hitch is pretty handy, isn't it? It seems to begin and end so many of our knots and lashings. There's my X. And just like my first round lashing, I'm going to run this underneath, pull it tight, run it underneath, pull it tight, run it underneath, pull it tight. Okay, We've got five times around. See there? Now let's tie a reversed clove hitch. I'm gonna run it under my sticks. See how that looks? Take my running end and run it back through the loop. Then we'll do it again. Take my running in, run it to the back of my sticks. Take my running end up and run it through my loop and pull that down. All right. And again, if I wanted to be neat, I'd clip it there and fuse it, clip it there and fuse it. But I'm gonna save my ropes for another project another day. But now what I've got is two round lashings. One here, and one there. Now watch this. I can take my stick out and I can poke Gabe in the ribs. Or, if I had yet another stick on the end, I could fish that key out of the sand and unlock the box on the Survivor Show and win the Immunity Challenge or the Reward Challenge. How about that? Round lashing, round lashing. If you ever end up as a contestant on the Survival Show, you'll know how to win that reward. This is not a lashing that's required for first class. You don't know how to, you don't need to know how to do this for first class. We'll call this one another uh, extra credit or bonus knot. That's all for this evening. Y'all have a good night. Bye bye.